Right now, just when you thought gas prices were going down, they're going up again, way up. In fact, prices are breaking records or about to break records in all three states in our area. Marcus Espinoza joining, joining us live now with more Marcus. Hey, Don, it's a tough time right now to fill up your gas tank. Folks behind me, they have to. They have to get to work and they have to get where they're going. But this place right here on Spring Garden is nearly $5. Gas is going up. Are we filling all the way up today? Nah, I can't do that. Can't do that. It's not just you. Gas prices are high, historically high, in fact. So much so that Philadelphia, the state of Pennsylvania, and Delaware reached all time highs for gas price averages today. Hit record levels yet again, uh, less than two months after breaking a near 14 year record. Jana Tidwell is with AAA Public Affairs. She says there are several factors contributing to record high prices, but the most significant is the price of crude oil, which is trading for nearly $110 as of this report. A gallon of gasoline is made up of 50 to 60% crude oil. So when crude oil prices increase, gas prices increase. At this golf station on Spring Garden Street, gas was nearly $5 a gallon. Joe Tovey says $25 hardly fills up his tank anymore, and he has to start considering the cost of filling up his car as a serious expense. Hey, I gotta set aside some money for it then, I guess. If I'm gonna be using my car, I gotta like, it prioritize it gas prices now. Becomes a part of the budget. Yeah. The fact that summer travel is also right around the corner or already here for some also adds to the higher prices, according to Tidwell. Summer blended gasoline, unfortunately, is more expensive to produce. So that passes along a 10 to 15 cent increase per gallon to motorists. And speaking of summer travel, if you're in an RV, that could cost nearly 500 bucks to fill up your tank. Despite that, David Pancrazio is the GM at Dillon's RV Center in New Jersey, and he says business is still good. So that trip might cost somebody an extra 150 or maybe $200 in fuel that it wouldn't typically cost them, but for our customers, it's a small price to pay for the freedom and being with their family. Don, the way house pricing is going as well, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go with the RV and just go all in on that. So right now, things are going up, but there are ways to save. Make sure to check your tire pressure and your oil in your car.